Hey there, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I am back for my Encouraging Cards series and this is number nine in the series. So I am showing you the uh, Art Impressions Trifolds. That's what we're using today. It's, a, it's called Garden Window. To start out this card, we're going to want to cut a piece of white cardstock to be four and a half inches by 11 inches, and then we're going to want to score that card evenly in thirds, and that means it's about three and five eighths inches on each side. So I'm actually taking a piece of Kansan XL watercolor paper, and that's exactly what I'm doing. I have scored that at three and five eighths inches using my little score buddy. And now we're going to move on to the stamping. So there I'm just showing you each of the panels. We've got outside, inside, all that jazz. And I'm going to use my stamp platform. And I'm going to grab the first image. It's the large image. We're going to center, and we're going to ink, and then we're going to stamp that large image on panel number one, approximately one and three-fourths inches from the top. And uh, I'm going to use some VersaFine Onyx Black ink to do so because I plan to watercolor these images. That, like I said, that paper is Kansan XL watercolor and it's 140 pounds, so it's fairly heavy. So I'm inking that up with the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I will stamp that out a couple times, and then I'm going to heat set that in between to make sure that that ink is good and dry, because that is a pigment ink and it will stay wet a little bit. So moving on, then I'm going to cut out the opening with my matching die. And I am going to use some micropore tape because it's low tack and that'll work really well. But I just to make sure that it doesn't mess with the images, not that I've ever had this do this, I'm going to use most of my taping more along the inside. And then I'm going to run that through my Big Shot machine and you'll see it cuts out perfectly. So now we will score each of those, or not score, but we'll fold the score lines. And then it'll end up, when you're done with the card, that's how it's going to be. But for the next part, we want to use a pencil, and we're just going to kind of trace very lightly on the inside of that cut line. And then we'll open up our card, put it back in the stamp platform, and we're going to ink and stamp the second, which is the medium image, onto panel two. And we're going to center that into the opening as best we can. But before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and erase the inside lines there. I will do my best to link down to the eraser because this eraser is my favorite. I can't remember the name of it, but it's fabulous. It always does a good job. And once again, we will ink up with VersaFine Onyx Black ink. And then we'll do the exact same thing with the other die that comes in this set. We will cut out that window. And then we're going to lightly trace the opening from panel 2 onto panel 3. But what I'm doing first is I'm using a sand eraser, the mono sand eraser. This is why it's so important to make sure that your VersaFine Onyx Black ink is dry because it can um, smudge. So now I'm lightly tracing the opening from panel two onto panel three. And then I'm going to center the final smallest image, which is our little cat on the chair. And I'm going to stamp that in the center of the opening on panel three. But before I do that, I wanna make sure and erase those lines once again because you don't want to try and stamp over the top of that. It'll be pretty hard to erase later. Now I'm going to use my Magello Mission Gold watercolors to watercolor all of this. And I have this sped up about eight times. And as I have said in my previous videos with watercoloring, I like to lay down a light wash. A very light wash, that's my base, because you do watercoloring in layers. And I'm going to start with some pinks and I'm going to color all those flowers. And I'll move around because I want things to dry in between. Because if you don't, then you have a tendency to smear that watercolor. So let me just explain that this is probably going to be my only video for this week. This is a big week for our family. My son is graduating from boot camp this week. So we will drive up to his basic training graduation and um, we're pretty excited about it. So it's about nine hours from where we are. Um, I have been dying for the last 10 weeks of barely getting to talk to him and barely knowing what's going on. Uh, so I am super, super excited to get in the car and head on my way out there. Um, and and his, the family day will be on Thursday and basic graduation will be on Friday. 
And so this is my only video for the week, but I will have another one for this next Monday and it will be another Encouraging Cards series. So um, just bear with me. When I get back, I'm going to need to do lots of stamping because I'll be sad because I won't get to see him again for quite a while. Uh, so I this week we're doing some family time. So um, that is why there will be a minimal amount of videos. And I know you all understand that because you're all amazing. So now back to the card. I have just, um, this is the outside. So clearly this is the window, the outside of the house. And I have now moved on to the second layer of my card. I am moving on with the different color. I'm adding some more, some darkness to those pink flowers just to add a little bit. These are fairly small images, so uh, you can't do go too crazy with detail, but you can always add a dot of dark, and that's what I'm doing with the leaves and the flowers. And then I will go back in for the window panes and the window sill, and I will add a little bit of darkness to those as well. And that's the nice thing about working in the layers with watercolor, is that you can go back over it with dark. It doesn't look like much when you first get started, but, um, you know, once you start adding those layers, boy, they really start popping. And I'm using the silver brush. It's the size four black velvet. And I really like it. I'm hoping to be able to, in the future, get uh, some more sizes. So I'm done with my outside layer and now I'm moving on to the drapes for the second panel. And again, with the light first wash, what I'm, that's what I'm doing. And this, these drapes actually gave me a little bit of trouble. I've said before that I am not super proficient in watercolor. I love watercolor and it's probably my favorite medium. I have the most success with Copics, but I love watercolor. I've always loved watercolor. Even when I was back in high school, which was eons ago, watercolor was always my favorite. Um, so I'm learning to get better, you know, practice makes perfect. And this is, this is why we do it, right folks? We, we keep practicing so that we can keep getting better. Um, but I, I was having a hard time with the pleats in the drapes and actually getting the darkness and the shadowing. But again, what the nice thing with watercolor is that you can lay down water and you can kind of pick up color. So you don't, you can, you can always keep, keep going that definitely keep working and see what you get. And so I'll heat that in between and I will see if I can add a little bit more darkness to those drapes in the different areas. Uh, but again, kind of giving me fits. I'm not sure um, if I ended up really liking the drapes so much, but you just keep going. And sometimes you end up with something you like and sometimes you don't. So I'll just dry that again, and I think I'm just gonna, gonna quit there and move on to the inside. Move on to our cat. So I'm actually gonna start with the, the flooring for the cat. And I'm just slapping down some color and adding water to kind of drag that down. And once that's dry, then I'll add more layers later, but that's what I'm gonna start with. I'm going to dry that in between so that I can start working on the cat and the chair and the rug and all that eventually here. But I think I'm liking how the floor is going. These Magello Mission Gold watercolors are super easy to work with. Like I've said before, they're not like the best quality out there, but they're certainly better than like a student grade. Um, and their price, you know, definitely reflects that they are better than, than a student grade. They are highly pigmented, so you don't need a lot of them. And these, I've had these for um, probably about a year and a half now. And I use them quite frequently, but I haven't had to refill my pans yet. So that is encouraging. That's how pigmented they are. This card was actually super easy to make. So let's go ahead and take a look at the final card. Isn't that adorable? You can see all the way to the inside from the front. And I did make two cards, one with Copics, one with the watercolor, and there they are. So if you liked this video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you so much for stopping by.